You follow me, you get wealth. You don't follow me, then he can't guarantee what will happen to you. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstra. The Thank Father you for joining us. If this is your first time Jesus here, make sure you subscribe. Right if this isn't your first time here and these messages God are blessing the you, then consider becoming a partner with us. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 17. Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not rich in this world. Is that what it said? No. You'd swear some people read it that way. That they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but trust in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy. Is that what your Bible says? Mm -hmm. If he didn't want you to be rich, he would have said right there that would have been a perfect opportunity but he did not say that he said don't trust in uncertain riches but trust in the certain riches which would be the living God who gives us mm -hmm. say the living God, the living God. Who, gives who gives us he said all things not just some things and he said richly so richly all things well I present to you that that has to mean that there's a full rich kingdom in the living God a full, full. Rich, rich kingdom, kingdom. otherwise he couldn't tell you he'd give you richly all things to enjoy <laughs> Romans chapter 11 and verse 33 says oh the depth of the riches both of the wisdom and knowledge of God say the depth, the depth. of the riches, of the riches. So this verse of scripture that we just read before says the living God gives us richly all things to enjoy. Here he's saying, oh, the depth of the riches mm -hmm. of the wisdom and knowledge of God. So my point here is there is great depth in these verses of scripture that most people have not fathomed yet. First Corinthians 2.10 says God hath revealed them unto us by his spirit for the spirit searches all things yea the deep things of god there's depth here that's my point mm -hmm. there's depth in these verses of scripture deeper and farther than you've gone yet mm -hmm. say deeper, deeper and farther, and farther. Than, I've gone than i've gone yet, yet. hey there's a kingdom in here in where in the Holy Ghost in the Living God in knowing him and walking with him an entire kingdom that provides you with all things to enjoy there's an entire two-dimensional kingdom that's very flat and gives you all spiritual things to enjoy that you can never realize because they're spiritual well, they that don't worship me the Holy Ghost can't ever really know they can't ever really fathom it they can't ever really go there because they're built on the wrong reality the reality is the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and walking with him you begin to experience and walk in this actual kingdom that richly provides you with all things to enjoy we having received this living God are beginning to walk in this kingdom in a way no other generation has been able to can you hear this Hebrews chapter 12 verse 28 wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved let us have grace whereby we may serve God 
acceptably you're worshiping him and serving him mm -hmm. say worshiping him, worshiping him and serving him. serving him and as i'll get on to a little bit later the main way we serve him is by speaking in agreement with his word mm -hmm. hebrews 11 verse 14 says for they that say they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a kingdom you're saying things you're declaring plainly and you're seeking a kingdom mm -hmm. a kingdom that provides richly all things for your enjoyment deuteronomy 8 verse 18 thou shalt remember the lord thy god for it is he that gives thee power to get wealth you got to remember this i think you forgot it who is it that gives you power to get wealth the lord your god god the holy ghost god in the earth today gives me power to get wealth now this power could be political power solomon prayed and asked for wisdom to govern and god made solomon the richest man in the world so with the wisdom to govern came wealth are you ready for this mm -hmm. was solomon the richest man in the world at the time he was. but he didn't say god give me wealth he said god give me wisdom to govern wealth is a critical component to every kingdom to every country to every nation wealth have you ever heard of the wealth of nations a book by adam smith written in 1776 the wealth of nations same with the kingdom listen to me same with the kingdom there has to be wealth of that kingdom and the unwillingness of christians to go here wealth has limited them and relegated them to insignificance their kingdom is insignificant because they've not accessed the wealth that comes from that kingdom are you here yeah. does god give power to get wealth what would a lot of christians say i don't know they'd have some kind of weak lame surface level answer because they wouldn't go here does god give you power to get wealth yes. what say you remember hebrews 11 14 said they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a kingdom armed with this enlightenment that god gives me power to get wealth you follow me you get wealth you don't follow me then he can't guarantee what will happen to you matthew chapter 6 verse 29 even solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these verse 31 therefore take no thought saying how do you take a thought saying. by saying it you choose what you say mm -hmm. say I choose, I choose what, I say. what I say therefore take no thought saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or wherewithal shall we be clothed for after all these things do the Gentiles seek what they're gonna eat what they're gonna drink what they're gonna wear what they're gonna drive where they're gonna live mm -hmm. for your heavenly father knows that you have need of none of these things because you're spiritual mm -hmm. it's not what it says that's what i thought it said what does this say your heavenly father knows that you have need of all the things that the gentiles seek but seek ye first the what the kingdom. 
the kingdom of God and say and and his righteousness his way of doing it doing what doing the kingdom say doing, doing. The, kingdom. the kingdom and all these things shall be added unto you what things what you're gonna eat what you're gonna wear where you're gonna live what you're gonna drive all of it a whole kingdom Am I get my point across mm -hmm. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and the how, which is righteousness. Say the how, the how. Is, righteousness. is righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. Living God gives you richly all things to enjoy. Mm -hmm. All those things that the Gentiles spend all their time trying to find and seek. Mm -hmm. Am I making this up? No. I'm just reading red letters straight out of my Bible. The Christianity that you were used to will not take you here it will not take you to where you need to go it has failed you but this we're just getting started in this and those of you having a pretense of preaching this message this thing I call Holy Ghost worship worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and walking with him by saying words you'd better put on your big boy pants maybe you don't know this but you would never see a man walking around in shorts those were little boy pants and at some age you would get your first pair of long pants and you would say I have on my big boy pants this train is not slowing down a greater than solomon is here i hope you can hear it big boy pants it's going to take your big boy pants to go here mm -hmm. especially when no one else is you ever see a small child get all rampagey throwing a temper tantrum but often you'll hear someone say use your words say use, use your words. words using your words has to do with growing up when the bible talks about being a babe in christ it means literally a non-speaker someone who doesn't know yet how to use their words someone who doesn't yet know how to use their words it's one of the first things you should begin to learn as you know the Holy Ghost as the Living God and begin walking with him is by saying words and I listen to some preachers that tentatively go here in worshiping the Holy Ghost and I've not yet heard I'm waiting I'm waiting for them to begin talking about how you walk with him by saying words I'm waiting put on your big boy pants use your words proverbs chapter 8 and verse 8 all the words of my mouth are in righteousness so where is righteousness in the words of your mouth what are the words of your mouth you said them you didn't just mouth them you spoke words so here the bible is pointing putting a finger on what righteousness is how do we walk with God the Holy Ghost we walk with him in righteousness it's the how of the kingdom say it's the how it's the how, it's the how of the kingdom righteousness all the words of my mouth spoken are in righteousness out of righteousness comes light and out of the light comes the kingdom I'll say it again out of righteousness comes the light and out of the light comes the kingdom so the question you must ask is what is righteousness to the Lord of Spirits say Lord of Spirits what is righteousness to you because if I'm gonna walk with him in his kingdom what is righteousness because that's how we do's mm -hmm. the answer is mainly speaking in agreement 
let me help you out here talking about righteousness which is the how of the kingdom Romans chapter 3 verse 20 therefore by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight the King James Version says justified others simply say made righteous standard stuff here mm -hmm. I hope this isn't blowing your mind say by the works of the flesh, by the works of the flesh shall, no man shall no man be made, be made righteous. righteous you get that right yeah. it's not doing this or doing that or not doing this and not doing that that makes you righteous and I'm not saying that you should go drink that you should go smoke that you should go get a tattoo am I saying that no. you shouldn't drink you shouldn't smoke you shouldn't get tattoos right but that doesn't make you righteous just because you didn't do those things so you have all the do's and the don'ts of not doing this or doing that none of which make you righteous but words spoken do words spoken are vehicles of righteousness can you see how speaking right words is a function of the kingdom it's how we do it's how we walk with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today mm -hmm. speaking words right words what would right words be these words in agreement with him Proverbs 8 8 said we already looked at it the words of my mouth are spoken in righteousness he couldn't have said all the deeds that I do and the things that I didn't do no man is made righteous that way but he said the words of my mouth spoken are in righteousness am I getting this across I hope so what you do in the flesh does not make you righteous what you say does are you here let's see what Jesus had to say about it would you listen to Jesus Matthew chapter 12 verse 37 for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned by your words again justified by thy words thou shalt be made righteous is that in your Bible mm -hmm. this is how we walk with God it's by the saying of words that make you righteous that give you access to the kingdom of God I'm trying to put a, a stark differentiation between the two things because most people will go down the other path of how you live and what you do and what you don't do and I'm not saying that we don't do right things and we shouldn't do other things I'm not saying that I'm just saying that down that road is no righteousness mm -hmm. down this road of speaking in agreement with God the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. is righteousness and access to the kingdom all things richly to enjoy my salvation and deliverance is in these words spoken it's as good as cash the problem is most people have not spoken his words enough to see it deliverance salvation healing prosperity youth renewal the whole kingdom everything that's in there wealth riches all things to enjoy richly in the speaking of words the righteousness mm -hmm. the righteousness as good as cash in the kingdom Daniel chapter 6 verse 16 thy God whom thou servest continually say continually, continually. he will deliver thee thy God which thou servest continually he will deliver thee thy God who's thy God who's your God in the earth today Holy Ghost. how do you serve him 
by speaking in agreement with his word continually if you serve him continually he will deliver thee get it straight a lot of people don't have it straight do they my salvation is in the speaking of God's Word out my mouth the Holy Ghost does nothing in the earth without you specifically without your words spoken he does nothing especially for you without your words spoken but spoken but he does nothing in the earth without you and your words spoken in righteousness people wonder why God's not doing anything for them why is he not doing anything for you because of what you just said therefore he gives you words to speak and those words frame your life that you are to live in and by living in and living by it would be governing it he is giving you words to govern your life but it doesn't end there he gives you words that go out beyond where you are that begin to govern the reality that you live in and that everybody else begins to live in are you here Holy Ghost I ask you right now to grant these people words of wisdom to govern their life by and as they begin to speak them says the Spirit Lord they shall see a change first come over on the inside of them and then move out from the inside of them to the situations and world around them and it will go as far as they will allow it to go and the belief in the Spirit Lord that he shall consume all things as the consuming fire that he is shall be upon you and with you to the very end and we thank you Lord of Spirits for it in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost I worship, God, you. I worship you. you you are the living God and I can know you and walk with you in the fullness of your kingdom richly all things to enjoy in Jesus name amen Jesus at his right hand